Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So to get started with this very like Irish themed St. Paddy's Day makeup look, I'm going to first of all prime my eyelids to neutralize them so there's none of those veins or redness showing through. So to do that I'm going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, of course the usual, <laughs> to go in and prime my eyelids. I love this because it does create a nice tacky base as well as creating a nice flawless canvas for the colours to glide onto afterwards. Once my eyes are nice and primed and neutralised, I'm going to go in with my first colour of the day. I'm taking this beautiful sunshine yellow eyeshadow from my Chi Chi Pride palette and going in with a very fluffy brush. This is from Zoeva, it's the 221 Soft Crease. And I'm going in and applying that through the kind of upper crease area from outer to inner corner, slowly building up that pigment till it desired pigmentation just so it's nice and pigmented and it creates a nice soft transition for the greens and things that we're going in afterwards with. Speaking of, next I'm taking this beautiful lime green eyeshadow from the same palette and on that same fluffy crease brush from Zoeva I'm placing that just below the yellow shade so it creates a nice soft gradient. I'm slowly building up that pigment again. You want to slowly build up colours when you are creating quite a pigmented eyeshadow look like this. If you try and go in all ham and just place in a whole lot of eyeshadow, it's a lot harder to blend out. So I like to slowly build up the colour just a little bit at a time. And I always go in with that previous transition shade to soften any harsh lines or edges. And also just to bring some of that colour back too. Next, taking this beautiful like apple green shade from the same palette again. This time on a petite crease brush from Zoeva. I'm placing that again slightly lower in the crease starting from my outer corner and blending that all the way toward the inner corner. I'm also kind of flicking it out a little bit on the outer corner of the eye toward the tail of the brow. Then I'm going back in with some of that lime green shade that we used before and then again some of that yellow to soften any edges and also just bring those colours back. I always think it's such a must to go in with the previous shades whenever you're creating a eyeshadow look in general just to bring those colours back and make sure it's a nice smooth gradient effect. Next taking this beautiful forest green shade on a pencil brush from Zoeva, I'm hugging the crease with this. I'm applying that shadow right in the eye socket area and again following that kind of mapped out shape that we used with the petite crease brush I'm going in and following that apple green shade toward the tail of my brow so just flicking it out on the outer corner and really building up that green shade so it's nice and pigmented in the crease. And then I go back in with the previous shades again to soften any harsh lines or edges so it's nice and smooth and there's no like patchiness or harsh stark marks or lines. Once your eye looks like this, we're going in and carving out the crease. So I'm taking some concealer. This is my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. And on a flat eye concealer brush, I'm going in and carving out my crease all the way from inner to outer corner. It's a full cut crease today. And just take your time with this step, guys. Once you've cut your crease, we're going to go in and just kind of define that line up a little bit more. So I'm taking the precise shader brush from Zoeva and some of that forest green shade. I'm just kind of hugging it against that cut crease line so it sharpens it up a little bit more, cleans it up if necessary, and also redefines that line and that kind of brings some of that green shade back a little bit. Then I'm going to take this matte white eyeshadow. This is from Makeup Geek in the shade White Lies. And I'm placing that initially on with a chisel shader brush from Morphe. However, I found that a little bit too chunky and thick and I couldn't get a nice defined line up against that crease. So I switched to my precise shader brush from Zoeva and again just kept applying that white eyeshadow all over the lid up to the crease and also carrying it on toward that outer corner of the eye near the brow. I also highlight my brow bone with this matte white eyeshadow and I also use it to clean up the eyeshadow a little bit. I felt like I blended up a little bit too high so I just used it to soften that and bring it down a little bit so it wasn't so high up towards the brow. Next I'm going in with a brown eye curl. This is Espresso from Makeup Geek and I'm going in and applying that to the outer third of my lash line and also tight lining my eye with that as well. 
Then taking Flame Point from Sugar Peel, this beautiful, vibrant orange shade. I'm placing this on, kind of smudging it against that brown coal liner with a Morphe M326 smudger brush. <laughs> Sorry, I just blanked out. I can't remember what it's called. And I'm basically just smudging out that eye coal so it's nice and smoky. Then I go in with a lighter orange shade and I'm basically smudging out the orange, the deeper orange shade with that lighter orange so it's a nice smooth kind of smoky liner effect. I again repeat the same process on the other eye. Make sure you're slowly building up that orange shade too so you don't have too much product and not enough room to blend. I keep it quite tight against the lash line too because I do want to have some of that white peeking through, kind of mirroring the Irish flag per se. Oh, this is my favourite bit. This is the glitter liner. So taking the Photo Ready Eye Art uh, glitter part of the product, this is in the shade Topaz Twinkle. I'm basically just going along the cut crease, um, building up that glitter liner so it's nice and opaque. And I am going all the way from inner to outer corner or that outer flick area. Again, take your time with this step, guys. It is a little bit tedious and fiddly. But it looks so beautiful once you get the desired effect. Like, damn, I love the added glitter to this look. It's so pretty. You could also definitely use a gold glitter liner too if you have that as well. I just thought this topaz shade is so pretty and complementary with the, like, greens and the white and the orange eyeshadow. Next, going in, I'm tight lining my eye with the brown eye coal and also just applying a gold eyeshadow over top to... Incorporate some of that Irish leprechaun gold kind of feels to the look. So I'm basically just applying that all over the waterline. If you guys do have quite sensitive eyes, don't use this um, gold eyeshadow. Skip this step because it will aggravate your eyes. Or you could go in with a gold eye coal if you prefer. Next, taking this mocha shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm basically wiggling that really tightly against my bottom lash line to bring a bit more definition there. Then going in with some of that beautiful flame point eyeshadow we used before. I'm smudging out some of that brown eyeshadow with a pencil brush, making sure to bring it all the way up to the outer corner of the eye. You want to make sure that the top lash line is connected to the bottom lash line. There's no gap in between because that is not sexy. Then taking these two lighter orange shades, one more of a yellowy orange and the other one is like a light orange basically. And I'm going in and softly blending out the edges of flame point and also kind of flicking it out on the outer corner dragging it out very very slightly um, just to give a bit more of a smoky wing for the inner corner highlight i'm going in with this beautiful eyeshadow called beam from the jaclyn hill morphe palette and applying that to my very inner corners then i'm going back in with that topaz twinkle photo ready eye art glitter liner and kind of connecting that glitter liner to the inner corner of the eye. I want to first apply like the bottom lash line and the inner corner highlight before I went in with this shade. And basically that concludes the glitter liner bit. I found this was quite an easy step. You're just kind of following your inner corner tear duct area to get that kind of feline inner corner cat eye effect, if that makes sense. Next for mascara, I'm going in with my Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. And I'm applying a nice thick coat of that mascara to my top and bottom lashes. For falsies today, I'm going in with the Anitude eyelashes in the style Feisty. I thought they were so complimentary with this look. They're nice and wispy. They're a more of a cat eye eyelash because they're shorter on the inner corner, longer on the outer corner. And they don't cover up too much of the eyeshadow, which is not what you want when you do so much effort and work like we did today. And basically, guys, this concludes today's Irish St. Patrick's Day eye makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up uh, for me so I know you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos. If you have any more requests for eye makeup looks in the future, please let me know down below. And I hope you have an awesome day. Hopefully, you guys will still be able to go to your St. Paddy's Day celebrations without this COVID-19 going on. Otherwise, enjoy your night in if you aren't. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.